Tá, dá cara, dá cara. Save for a blazing shadow poised to strike. Cool's insights felt like quicksand sinking in terror at the sight. The shape lunged, metal crashed, and a Duran's light went out. Cool's beating heart drew Sarfog's attention. It was a monster of such harrowing enormity that survival seemed impossible. But then. The reader illuminated a break in the stone. Quill dove, the opening just big enough, and narrowly escaped the snap of Sarfog's fiery jaw. <sighs> Instinct fuel Quill's desperate flee. The littered limbs of those before her served as haunting reminders that this was where so many before her met their end. Her adrenaline waned. Trembling and anchored by a heavy heart, she slowed, stumbled, Aww. and crumpled to the cold ground. Poor Quill. Yeah, dude. This library. Clearly closed. We should have been out of here. Will had never felt more small and helpless. It would take an army to defeat Sarfog. Then she felt a gentle touch of warmth and mustered the strength to look up. The reader was still there. Oh, look, it's me. Expressionless as always. But unwavering in their loyalty. Uh -huh. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm in this. I'm in the book. <laughs> Quill felt the depth of their connection. The strength that came with being twofold. They'd come so far. Together. My friend. I need your help. If we don't face Sarfog now, my uncle will die. And that monster won't stop until you and I are torn apart. Will you stay with me and try? Let's do it. There I am again. Let's get a little one. Not much to do. Oh. There's the castle. I feel like I've been like in some kind of snow globe right now. Snake. <laughs> See a snakey boy. I'm not missing any scrolls. Well, it's a good time. 
Ah, suck it, stupid snake. Done, mate. That was so cool, that little jump. <laughs> they walk right. Oh. I hear little one. Will searched the silent halls. Uncle? Uncle! She called, but only her echoes responded. A little one. Oh, there's a big scratch there. Sarfog finds you. Uncle, Sarfog is dead. His voice trembled as he spoke. The glass, the reader, you've bonded. I wanted to keep you safe from all this. It is not a burden you can bear alone. That's why you got me. Not alone. That's right, you got me. My quill, twofold and strong. He resigned. We're safe now, she assured him. Let's go home. No, Quill. You've never been in more danger. His voice faltered. The arcane do not end with Sarfog. The king's glass, hidden here in the castle. You must reclaim it. Where? We're ready. Alright, let's do it. A promising beginning indeed. For so long, another has toiled to write an end for us all. But your bond with Quill grows strong. Your fates, yet still unwritten, are now entwined. And that gives us hope. Yes, your journey together is far from over. Rest now, dear reader. We'll begin again soon. Still like so many pages left. Oh, that's it. That's the game? Wow. The dark wood falls I wanna give a special shout out to James Yavolsky. I like to pick like one random. So this is part of the video, I guess, um, where I'll do my rating. Mission game. And in the stillness find you it's pretty cool. Nice way of making a credit. 
A lot of people. And to you, dear reader. I love how it does the sign language. It's so cool. Is that it? And that's it. We read it till morning. So that's book one. Right. Is it like book two, three, four? Was that it? Alright, I guess that's it. That's how the game ends. <laughs> so yeah, let's um, give it my rating. Um, from a yeah, met or nah. Yeah, that mean definitely means to buy or play. Nah, being definitely not to buy or play. And meh, being somewhere in the middle. And without any real surprise, I'm going to give this one... I think I'm going to give this one... A... Yet to play and a met to buy. Um, I didn't realize how short this game was. Jesus. Uh, it was only like one chapter long. There were moments where I felt like the pacing was a little bit slower, but... That's just the way I play, I guess. So I like to kind of summarize it in like three major aspects of the game, so... One is narrative, plot, or story, the audio, visual aesthetics, and the gameplay mechanics. So let's go with the narrative, or story, or plot. You're this uh, reader who kind of delves into the story of of Quill and how their universe came about, um, and you're going through to find your uncle, and you did uh, at the end. Uh, I thought the whole story was nice and like. Nice and likened to a fairy tale, which I really do enjoy. Um, as far as I can tell, there could have been a little bit more things, but the way how things were desolate kind of didn't really require more extra stuff uh, than what the narrative has kind of spoken. You know, they they decided to run away with the sprites. The sprites blocked the door. You reopen the door so you can find your uncle, and you and you also fulfill your destiny as well. So that's kind of cool in its own right. There's also, in terms of the audiovisual aesthetics, the animation is by far the most crisp I've seen on a PSVR. It is so smooth and the way it moves is so fluid, it looks amazing even in its blurry blurry or 720p state. Uh, I cannot stress, in, stress enough, the animation is done so well in this game. This should be like the new standard but this is the new standard of excellence, is what I mean. In terms of its audio, design, and music, they're both, as you expect, very, very great. Uh, it's a, it matches very well with the, the universe, the aesthetics of the universe. However, there are moments where it's a bit too quiet and there's no music. Although, you don't really need more to get more. I feel like there are some aspects where you could have provided some audio tunes or music to kind of uplift and also drown in sorrow, or in despair, so to speak. But regardless, overall, very, very well. Very, very well done. In terms of its gameplay mechanics, you really only have, like, four buttons. So you got the, the shoulder buttons, which you have spirit order, and you can grab or light things up. Um, you got the X to jump, square to attack, and you press them both, you evade, and the joystick to move around. I think the only downside is the the, the VR aspect in, on Sony VR, as you can tell already, like it, it jitters because you can't seem to track. Even though I'm in this open area, or relatively open area, it's a small room, but it still can't track like well. So if I start doing things like this, it stops tracking and goes somewhere really far away. Look at that. It's like it's gone and then it's locked in place and then it's back here. So in terms of the gameplay mechanics, the, I don't think the Sony VR is any good at tracking, unfortunately. It uses the lights and the gyroscope, but it doesn't use um, what the other, I guess, more advanced VR headsets can do. Which in itself is its problem. But the simple mecha uh, button mechanics and the platforming uh, elements are an awesome touch to a VR game. 
it's like being able to look around the platform and stuff like that definitely brings a new dimension get it <laughs> to the action platformer genre and I really do enjoy it especially with the crisp animation I can't, cannot stress that enough so overall I think it's a fantastic VR title to try out and see what other potentials are out there or potentials of VR and the potentials of mixing different genres but would I buy this game? Probably at a discounted price, but I probably wouldn't buy it um, now. Back then, maybe, but for now, I think it's a good... If it's on sales, definitely get it and play it. It's definitely a good entry to a VR title. So yeah, tell me down in the comments what you think. And as always, take it easy. Until next adventure, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye!